Hello there, thanks for joining me once again. And in this tutorial, I'm going to tie up another dry fly pattern for you this time. And it's a caddis pattern. And it's uh, a parachute caddis pattern that I got out of my book, uh, Flies the Best 1000, once again. It's not that difficult of a tie, and it's a nice looking uh, caddis pattern, I thought. And I thought you might like to see this one tied up, so. I'll get him a device, a fresh hook in, I'll get started here. And the hook I'm using is a must had 94840 standard dry. And I'm tying him on the size 10, the biggest size here, for the video. So I'll get that clamped down in the vise. You can tie it from a 10 down to a 16. So, I, okay. Now, thread I'm using Danville. Six aught. Flymaster thread here, it's a fine thread. And first thing I'll do is start my thread behind the eye and go back about a quarter way down the shank here. Snip off that tag end. Then I'll come back halfway onto that thread there. And that's where I'm going to place the wing. And the wing is some uh, calf body here calls for calf tail but I find the calf body here is easier to stack and work with so and I've already got some of my stacker here and I'm going to even it up you don't want too overly a uh, thick wing on them go to medium thickness for the wing it's going to pull out these short hairs here make sure it's lined up okay now we'll place that I'm just going to pull a few of these out I don't want too thick of a wing on this guy Alrighty, that should be fine. Now, we'll go about hook shank length for that. Measure it up. And we'll come up with a pinch loop. A couple pinch wraps on that. And wrap back a few wraps. Then I'll hold that on a slight angle, then cut that. Give my scissors straight. Okay, now we'll come back up. And I'm going to prop that wing up. Wedging a little dam or thread in front here. Now I'm going to post that wing up. So I'm going to come around the base. Make one or two wraps to get it started. Then you just want to simply post the wing. Sometimes it can be a little tricky. Just take your time. And we'll go up there quite a little ways here. Then we'll come back down. Work our way back down the post till we get to the bottom. A couple more wraps. Then I'm going to move my thread in front of the post. Okay, we have our wing posted up there. So, next step, I'm just going to cut that little fiber out of there. Just to attach our hackle. And I have a size 10 Grizzly Dry Fly hackle here, sized up, ready to tie in. And what I'll do is place that right in front of the post and what I want to do is tie that stem right up onto the post so make one wrap and then we'll work back towards the post like so hard against it then just simply take your thread and wrap back up the post once again this time we're binding the hackle stem down with with the thread at the same time we'll go up to the same spot and then back down again like the first time and that'll give us a nice strong post to wrap our hackle on. Then I'm just going to come back and wrap all this excess wing butts down till we get just about to the bend. And I'm going to come in, snip off this little hackle stem here out of the way. There we go. So there we have our wing posted and our hackle tied on the post, and that's ready to go. Okay, a couple more wraps back. Now the body calls for. Here's ear dubbing, so I have some here's ear plus here. Just has a little bit of Antron flash in it. Just a little bit of sparkle to it, so I'll get my dubbing wax here and dub up the thread, or excuse me, wax up the thread. And we'll start a noodle on this guy for the body. And not too overly thick, just a decent sized noodle on him. Just like so. Dub that up. 
Okay. I'll wrap this first section on, see what it does here. It gets me where I want to go on this fly. I imagine I'll have to put a little bit more on. Yeah, just a tad bit more dubbing. Okay, a little more wax. And a tad bit more dub here. Alrighty, that should do it. Okay, that's fine right there. Okay, next is our wing. And the wing is a section of mold oak turkey quill. And I treated this section with some lacquer so it doesn't split. And as you can see, you want to cut a V notch right at the very end, like so. And we're going to take that and place that on top here. And you want the wing to come out of ways past the bend, so. And you want to sort of fold it tent, tent style as you wrap it on. That's the key. And bring your thread up around. And we'll just, just snug that in. Check it. That looks fine to me, so we'll wrap back a few wraps. Then forward, and snug that down with several tight wraps. Just like so. And there's our wing. You, as you can see, it's sort of folded into a tent shape there. I don't know if you can see that underneath how it looks, but... Now, we're going to dub the thorax up next. So, some more wax. Grab some more dubbing here. Okay. I'll dub that on. Nice tight noodle here. And don't worry about a few guard hairs sticking out. A little bit of bugginess never hurts. But if they're real long, you can trim them out if you want. I got one there that's fairly long. I just pulled that one out. Okay. Now wrap right back on into our wing a little bit, then forward. Okay, I need some more dubbing here. Get a little bit more out here. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So now I'm going to move to in front of the wing here. And back towards the post. And I want my thread to stop on the first side of the post and let it hang right there. Okay, so the next step is to wrap our post. And before I do that, for some added durability, what I always like to do on my parachute flies is take a little bit of solar res UV resin, the bone dry, the thin stuff. And I'm going to coat those thread wraps before I wrap the hackle on the post. Okay. Now I'll grab my uh, rotating pliers here and we're going to wrap that hackle. Okay. Oops, excuse me. Just got to drop my hackle pliers here. Just bear with me. Okay. I recovered them. Okay. Now we'll snap onto that with the pliers here and we'll begin to wrap that. Okay, get our first wrap there at the top of the thread. Then we'll begin to work down, making sure to keep pretty good tension on your wraps. And we'll come down the post just like so here. Okay, and I'll do one more wrap. Okay, then I'm going to come up with that thread that we left on the far side, bring it up, and go right. And on the bottom of the post and secure that hackle. Make two to three nice tight wraps to secure it. I usually do three. Okay, and just let your thread hang there for a second. Release the pliers. Okay, now next what I'm going to do is add just a little tiny bit more dubbing here. Just a bit. A real skinny noodle. Sparse noodle on this here. Okay, that should be fine. Now push that up towards the body. Now, what I'd like to do next is just lift those hackle fibers up and then come up forward towards the eye here. And we're going to wrap that up and we're going to 
form a head like so there we go okay next step I'm going to come in and cut this excess hackle tip out of here trim that guy out there we go okay now the next step is just to finish off with the whip finish so I'll grab my whip finisher here come in lift up the hackles once again and we'll get a four or five turn whip finish on this guy snug that in nice and tight and I'll come in and trim off that excess thread okay now before I call them finished you remember I put the uh, UV resin on the post before I wrap the hackle so now I'm going to take my UV light and I'm going to hit that post with that and that will lock those hackle fibers to the post and make the fly nice and durable okay just put on both sides of the post there there we go okay that should be fine and there we have it another size 10 parachute caddis it's got a couple fibers there I want to trim out there we go well that's a done deal so like I was saying not too bad of a tie just a different caddis pattern than what, the, what you normally see but I think it's a pretty cool pattern and I know it'll catch a trout for sure so once again I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, I really appreciate you watching and I just want to mention before I leave that uh, this upcoming trout season I plan to uh, try to make some uh, fishing videos also to add on to my channel and I'm looking forward to that I just thought I'd throw that out there and thank you for watching this time around and if you haven't subscribed yet definitely hit that subscribe and like button I really appreciate that a lot if you'd like to see more videos so until next time folks happy tying out there stay safe I'll see you again soon and so long for now.